friends myself Siddha Chauhan welcome to easy medicam today's part of the video will be covering about the 10th cranial nerve which is the vagus nerve the vagus nerve is the 10th cranial nerve 10th cranial nerve okay it is a mixed type of the cranial nerve vagus nerve is having a three division somatic motor fiber division parasympathetic motor fiber division and visceral sensory fiber division in general the vagus nerve is the only cranial nerve which extends beyond the level of head and neck all the cranial nerves which we have learned they are limited to the cranial region only the vagus nerve the 10th cranial nerve is the only cranial nerve which extends beyond the level of head and neck okay Fibers of the vagus nerve emerges from the medullary aspect and pass or leave the, through the jugular foramen and descend through the neck region into thorax and abdomen. They enter into the thorax and abdomen. They leave the skull via jugular foramen. So the fibers of the vagus nerve emerges from the medullary aspect. We have to keep it in our mind this. They emerges from the medullary aspect and leave the skull vault through the jugular foramen. The vagus nerve is a mixed type of the cranial nerve. It is having a three division, which is a somatic motor fiber division, parasympathetic motor fiber division, and visceral sensory fiber division. The somatic motor fiber division, these fibers innervate the skeletal muscles of pharynx and larynx. So they innervate the skeletal muscles of pharynx and larynx. The somatic motor fiber division of the vagus nerve innervates the muscles of pharynx and larynx whereas the parasympathetic motor fiber division of the vagus nerve innervates these fibers supply the heart lungs and abdominal viscera and are involved in regulation of heartbeat breathing and digestive system activity so the parasympathetic motor fiber division innervates the heart lungs and abdominal viscera which regulates the heart rate breathing and digestive system activity okay the visceral sensory fiber division of the vagus nerve the fibers returns from the thoracic and abdominal viscera from the mucosa and larynx and from the mucosa of larynx and pharynx isn't it the visceral sensory fiber carry the sensory impulse from the tiny areas of skin of the external ear and some of the membrane lining of the middle ear cavity also so the visceral sensory fiber division of the vagus nerve will uh, carry the sensory impulse from the external ear as well as the middle membrane lining of the middle ear cavity also and the visceral sensory fibers also carry the proprioceptive fibers from the muscles of larynx and pharynx also so they carry the proprioceptive sensory information from the larynx and pharynx isn't it so in general the vagus nerve is having a three division the somatic motor fiber division parasympathetic motor fiber division and visceral sensory fiber division the somatic motor fiber di division innervates the skeletal muscles of pharynx and larynx whereas the parasympathetic motor fiber division innervates the heart lungs and abdominal viscera which regulates the heart rate breathing and digestive system activity and the visceral sensory fiber division of the vagus nerve which is the last division will uh, carry the sensory information from the thoracic and abdominal viscera, viscera and the from the mucosa line from the mucosa of larynx and pharynx the visceral sensory fiber division will also carry a proprioceptive information or proprioceptive sensory information from the muscles of larynx and pharynx also okay the vagus nerve are has a the vagus nerve is having two ganglias the superior ganglion and inferior ganglion the superior ganglion will in general carry the general sensory information and the vagus nerve or ganglia of the inferior ganglia carry the visceral sensory information so in general the vagus nerve has a has two ganglia the vagus nerve has superior ganglia in the jugular foramen that is mainly concerned with the general sensory information or the general sensory component of this vagus nerve and the inferior to this foramen the inferior ganglia is present which is concerned with the visceral sensory component of the vagus nerve so in so in a whole we are having two ganglia in the vagus nerve the superior ganglia and the inferior ganglia 
the superior ganglia lies in uh, the lies near to the jugular foramen and inferior to the su superior ganglia there is an inferior ganglia also which is lie towards the jugular foramen the superior ganglia is generally concerned with the general sensation and the vis inferior ganglia is concerned with the visceral sensory information okay the vagus nerve continues inferiorly in the carotid sheet to the roots of the neck supplying branches to the palate pharynx and larynx the vagus nerve supplies branches to the heart bronchi and lungs also in general if somehow the vagus nerve will get paralyzed because most of the muscles of the larynx are innervated by the laryngeal branches of the vagus nerve if the vagus nerve will get paralyzed it can lead to the hoarseness or loss of voice the voice get lost or the hoarseness of the voice will occur difficulty in swallowing and impaired digestive system motility because the parasympathetic uh, fibers are concerned with it if somehow there is a total destruction of the vagus nerve is incompatible with the life because the parasympathetic fibers or the parasympathetic division of the vagus nerve will innervate the heart lungs and digestive system okay so uh, that's all for this part of the video we will be continuing about the next cranial nerve in the next part of the video so do like share and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more notification and do comments also thank you please like share and subscribe easy medicam and press bell icon for more notification